welcome to uh, this video, which is a short video looking at the canvas options in EasySketch Pro. Uh, as I said in the last video, the uh, white rectangle in the middle of the screen here is the canvas. It's what the camera sees. Um, now, it comes at a default size, but you may want to change that size if you want a different resolution to the video you produce at the end. Um, for example, um, to actually change these uh, the excuse me, to change the size of the canvas uh, you can do it in three different ways. You can come up here to the cog symbol in the toolbar and that says canvas settings and that will open the canvas options box. Uh, alternatively you can go up to file and canvas settings opens the same box um, or you can right click on the canvas and go for project options and that also opens the same canvas options box. Now then, um, there are a few options on here which apply to the whole project. The first is frames per second. Uh, basically the more frames per second you have the higher quality video you'll produce. Uh, there are various options here but uh, I always leave it, leave it on 25 frames per second <coughs> Excuse me, and I suggest you do the same. Um, quality, you have several options here. You can keep the original frames, that's as it's produced, um, if you don't do anything else, or you can effectively reduce um, the quality of the output video um, to as little as 10% of the uh, quality of the project. Um, I always keep this as the original frames. Um, these days uh, there's not really any need to worry about uh, video sizes. It's uh, it's not going to make a much difference the the size of the video you produce but it will affect the quality so I would leave that as it is. And here's the one uh, you may want to change canvas default sizes. Uh, the default is 640 by 480 pixels uh, which is the standard sort of size of video. Um, if you want to produce a standard quality video uh, then that that is fine to leave it on that setting. However if you want to produce uh, a lower quality video, uh, for example maybe you're, you're showing it uh, just on a website and it's not very important, uh, it's more important how big it is, uh, the file is rather than the quality of the video, you may go down a bit, um, you're more likely to go up if you want to um, show your video in high definition. Uh, so you can go all the way up to 1920 by 1080 pixels which is 1080p uh, high definition, um, or you, the one I quite often choose is 1280 by 720, which is 720p high definition, uh, which is the sort of um, standard size at the moment for YouTube high definition videos, so you may want to change that. Uh, if you do change it and select that and go OK, you can see that the canvas size changes quite considerably so the canvas is now much bigger. Um, um, once it's changed the size then, well, let me rephrase that, uh, it's important that you decide on what canvas size you want before you begin your project because let's say you did, uh, you, you left the default setting at 640 and you placed a lot of objects on the canvas and they're all placed exactly as you wanted them and then you realize that you really wanted to go to um, a higher resolution and you change the canvas options you then find the placing of all the objects uh, is now different because you've got a much bigger canvas and um, if you've got multiple scenes you'll find that instead of uh, objects being in the scenes you intended them to be then they'll end up uh, in, in other scenes so you have to rearrange everything so think about what canvas size you want before you actually begin your project. There's a couple of other options on here. Uh, one is to loop music. We'll be seeing how you can add a music track uh, to your project and um, uh, this is relevant if uh, your project, the length of your entire project uh, is greater than the length of the music track that you select. Um, if it is then this option allows you to loop the music. So. Uh, the music track will come to an end and then we'll start again at the beginning and play through to the end of the project. If you uncheck that option then the music will play until the track's finished and then the music will just stop so the back end of your uh, project will have no music. So the default is to loop the music and normally uh, you want to leave it on that. 
Uh, then got some background options here. Uh, at the moment, uh, the background is a color background and it's white. You can see the color of the background here. And you can see here that the canvas is indeed white. Uh, if you want to change it to something else other than white, you can click on this selector tool here. It brings up uh, all the various swatches. Um, and we could, for example, change it, I don't know, to sort of cyan. Uh, pick, just click on the uh, colour you want and click on OK. And if we click on OK here, you can see now we've got a sort of cyan uh, background. Uh, most of the time uh, I use white, uh, but you may want uh, for particular projects a specific colour. Um, okay, so I think we'll set that back to white for the moment. And okay. Now, uh, you can also, as well as a colour, have a gradient. And this will um, take two colours and uh, move the, the background from one colour to the other. Um, so let me show you what I mean. You select gradient, <coughs> let's say we'll have um, ooh, light blue and OK and then we choose a second colour, uh, let's make it dark blue, say, OK and then we press OK. You can see now we've got a gradient that moves from the top to the bottom. It starts with the first colour you specify and moves down gradually into the second colour you specify. OK, you may want to use that. Uh, there's a note here, uh, if a colour or gradient is selected, any background image or video added will be removed. We'll be seeing later um, how you can select background images and indeed background videos. Uh, but if you want to use either of those, then you can't set the uh, colour or gradient here. OK, I will set that back to white. OK, OK, and now it's plain white again. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial.